Aries. I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights. And for those of you who don't know me, welcome to my page. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel if you do like what you hear, if you like what you see, okay? I would love if you guys can comment or give me any type of um, feelings about this video that you may have had, okay? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, but also for Venus and Aries people, okay? So, Aries, I recommend that if you did not see your Parshu tarot reading, that you review it before you watch this. So, that way you guys can have a bit of understanding. Just because um, I did a, a reading for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? In one, it was one video with all three fire signs. And the energy was so tense that I couldn't even really tell if it was necessarily strictly for you or if it was more so of Leo. I mean, I felt Sagittarius energy as well, but it wasn't as tense. So I felt like this was leaning more towards either you, Aries, or Leo. So if you did not get a chance to watch that video, please do, okay? I normally review, I mean, release any type of videos on Terra Tuesday, but a lot of you are new to my page, so you get to actually witness the realness, okay? So, Aries, when you give your attention to something, okay, your potential for attracting it is increased. The more vivid the details, Okay, listen to that. The more vivid the details, the more likely you are to attract it into your experience. And so any negative emotion that you feel while observing something that is your indication that you are negatively attracting. Okay, do I need to say that again? When you give your attention to something, your potential for attracting it is increased. The more vivid the details, the more likely you are to attract it into your experience. And so any negative emotion you feel while observing something is your indication that you are negatively attracting. Be very mindful, Aries, of your thought process this season just because... I feel like you guys have been going through some things, okay? And it is so easy to just want to give up and throw in the towel. It's so easy to say, I'm not doing this right now. I don't want to do it. Um, I'm going to do it my way and only my way. Like, it's so easy to do that and to say that. Um, but I feel like you are being challenged to hold on to your faith. Where it is, if this is anything dealing with career or love, the universe is telling you to hold on to your faith, okay? Take a risk is what I got for you this season, okay? Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. And therefore, everything that you manifest will then become, okay? I also have... um. The sorceress here as well. And this is all about having faith in yourself and in your belief system. Like constantly check your belief system this season. Okay, what are you feeding your soul? What are you telling yourself? Are you encouraging yourself? Are you speaking words of life and of love? Are you speaking prosperity over your life? Are you speaking abundance over your life? Or are you um, saying, um... I can't do that. I'm not qualified for that position or they're not going to hire me. Um, I know I'm not going to never get that promotion. Like be very mindful of the things that you speak. And for you, Aries, this is very, very interesting just because the month of April literally kicks off with you and we are still celebrating that astrological new year. Okay. So this is a new season. And you are the first zodiac sign, dear love. So all beginnings, you're getting rid of what no longer serve you. You're starting fresh. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And you know that. 
but something has caused you to lose faith. Something has caused you to be a bit sad. Something has caused you to fall off the path that was destined for you. And just because you were destined for something doesn't mean that you would naturally be obedient to the cause. I feel like a lot of you know what you need to be doing. A lot of you are aiming for what you really want, but something has caused a, a block in there, okay? It's really stopping you from believing in yourself. Procrastinating about your dreams won't make them go away, okay? I also see this... The sacral chakra here. So that is your second chakra. And it came out in reverse. So when it comes to your sacral chakra, this is definitely any areas like below, like your abdomen, your um your abdomen, um, any any part of your lower back, pay attention to that, or maybe a lack of sex or a low sex drive, okay. I feel like you guys need to, instead of not having sex, you guys need to have sex. Or <laughs> instead of not choo instead of choosing not to work out, you may want to go ahead and work out. Um, this is really about you really, really tapping into your well-being, okay? Your sacral chakra represents your emotions. And a lot of times when the sacral chakra comes out it is a reminder that we should go back to what we first knew so whenever the sacral chakra comes out it is a clear reminder to go back to the root of the problem which is our root chakra so the universe is asking you to get down to the bottom of it to address the issue like what is really really causing you any type of discouragement or heartache like what is really really causing you to be so upset or so sad because i do see that it has been some transitions for a lot of you aries okay for a lot of you aries it has been one hell of a season for the past few months and a lot of you just been kind of holding your head and um trying to stay focused, trying to be positive. And I feel like I feel like a lot of you are holding on to this particular hurt that you need to let go of. And I want you to understand though, Aries, this this change or this 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 downfall or this change, whatever just happens in your life recently, um, whatever is about to happen, I want you to understand that you are going to come out on top. This is not the end. This is not where you say it's over or goodbye. This is more of a temporary pause. I'm going to fix it. But before I fix it, I have to work on that or I have to address this. So I feel like things will get better for you. And they will, but the first two weeks of April is not going to be so promising. Try to wait at least until about the 20th or the 21st. Because again, the sun was in your sign, the moon was in your sign from March into April. And then, not for nothing, I mean, even though Mercury retrograde did end, it's still hanging around that first week and a half of April, right? So, what that means is, even though that Mercury retrograde energy is still hanging around, Jupiter will go retrograde on or April 10th or 11th, give or take a day, right? And then, we will have Saturn go retrograde, Pluto will go retrograde in Capricorn. So, it is extremely important that you pay attention to all these different energies of the planets and understand what it means for you and understand how it's making you feel. Okay, it is really, really important that you are in tune with who you are and what you desire and that you follow through on faith, that you do not give up at the sight of something looking like it's not going to work out. Procrastinating about your dreams will not make it go away. Neither will it make it happen. In this Indecision is 
the depth okay indecision is the depth of the soul it is the depth of the soul's burning passion to improve to grow and to learn so try not to worry too much because again i also do see focused intention here which lets me know that overall even though you will have that lack of faith early on in april going into about that second or third week at the end of that second week going into that third week clarity returns confidence will return happiness will return because something shocking is coming to you okay and that is, a, I mean, we also have that full moon in Libra towards the third week of April. So that may actually help with bringing more logic to a particular situation. Like some things that you are probably a bit emotional about recently is now allowing you to have more clarity. Like you're getting more clarity about this relationship issue or you're getting more clarity about this particular job or about this particular lifestyle like you are now deciding if this is something you really want to do do you really want to be back with this person do you really want to take that job do you really want to um do you really want to get take that promotion? Whatever it is. Or do you really want to relocate? I feel like a lot of you are indecisive about relocating. I want you guys to really, truly dig deep this season. Really, truly rely on your sacred chakra, my love. Focused intention is so important, guys. Please, please focus on your target and you will not miss, okay? So I'm going to put that back there. Keep your unwavering thoughts and feelings and attention and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark, okay? So again, with that sacred chakra here, it is letting me know that you want to go back to the root of the problem. And once you figure out what the problem is, now you have to get focused, okay? You need to will back in that willpower and that, that inner strength, okay that confidence once made the universal energies will immediately support your ideas or any type of decisions that you may have had and doors will be successively successively open as if it was magic okay because again i do see the sorceress here and that is a lot of magical energy in case you guys don't know the magic you see is that you set your mind to accomplish something that you love. And this intention is what sets you on your magical journey. So trust that the universe will support you in all ways. Trust that your intuition is clear and right. Okay? Trust that your intuition is right for the moment. The right time, the right person, the right place, the right theme. Make sure that the timing is right, okay? Do not give up just yet, Aries, because like I said, it's not going to be easy the first week of April. It's not going to be easy, okay? Take a leap of faith and jump fully and squarely into the midst of putting your dreams into action. Do not hesitate or delay a moment any longer. Your dream will come true, Aries. Again, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please double check your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for clarity, guys. Your chosen path is the right one for you. And heaven is supporting you fully on your mission. So, whatever issues you are having with your health, okay, lower back issues, some of you may even find out that you're pregnant, okay, um, try to take is your vitamins, drink a lot of water, try not to over-stress yourself, try to rest as much as possible, because again, I feel like the first two weeks of April is going to be like, really like, oh my God, can I get a break? <laughs> and then by the end of the second week, going into the third week, that clarity returns. Your confidence returns. 
okay your faith will return so do not give up my love because something is in the middle of transitioning for you okay so do not give up break your dream into an achievably baby step so that is easier for you to start with okay so that way you don't feel so overwhelmed all right try not to have too many priorities because that is can really be stressful okay aries but what i'm going to do at this moment is i do want to shuffle some like a few more cards for you wow that just came out just like that that's crazy but i'm going to put it back in the deck just in case all right so i'm going to get clarity for aries sun moon and rising or venus and aries wow oh your energy man i'm telling you it's like ooh, 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 ooh. all right so let's see aries sun moon and rising or venus and wow i'm telling guys what did i say oh universe oh universe thank you wow what did i say rest please guys pay attention to your body listen to your body some of you will find out that you are pregnant some of you okay will find out that you know, something is going on, or you may have some type of discomfort in your lower back. You may um, not be able to walk during this time, or you may have had surgery, or whatever the case is. I want you to understand, rest is extremely important. That is so bananas how that just came out like that. Wow. I'm telling you, Aries, this is not a game, okay? Do not overstress yourself or think too deep to the point that it's causing you a headache okay because i feel like a lot of you are getting or have been receiving a lot of tension headaches like because you're overthinking over analyzing stressing too much over a particular topic or a particular situation or circumstance please please take good care of yourself aries please okay wow that is interesting very interesting all right, so let's see what else is going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wow, your cards are just like... <laughs> wow, all right, all right, all right. Wow, look at that. All of your chakras are coming out, love. Look at this. You got your fifth chakra here, your sixth chakra. This is crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, if you have... Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your birth chart as a sun, moon, or rising, or Venus in that sign, please review their part you video because Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, some of them got this energy about clarity. Your intuition is not going to lie to you, Aries. Trust that instinct. If something is telling you that something is wrong with your body, if something is telling you that you may be ill or that you may be sick or that something is wrong, you know, and I don't want to scare you, but I want you to be aware and to, to understand that something is happening. So before you make any drastic decisions or before you do something that you are later regret, please go get an exam, okay? Because some of you will find out that um, you're either pregnant or something else is going on. And I don't think that is anything deadly, like you'll die or anything, but I think that is something you may want to check out. It's something exciting for some of you, and for some of you is a shock. So please, please, okay? Your fifth chakra came out, your throat chakra, my love. Please, please, I'm telling you guys, please, please, please review Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos pass you focus for this season, okay? Please, if you have that, or maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Maybe, you know, and maybe they're the one that's pregnant. Please review their energy, guys. I'm not kidding. It's scary. Please review their video, okay? So, guys, I got the clarity that I needed for your video. I mean, <laughs> I feel like there's going to be... A surprise of some sort because the month is coming in very tricky and making you feel really depressed and for some of you not really too depressed but maybe just a bit sad thinking about life and thinking about what you excuse me what you would like to work on or what you would like to accomplish and 
going into the end of the second week, check your emails and your phone logs and your contacts, okay? Check your emails, especially for, for a lot of you that like to work or do businesses, okay? Please, please, please. I feel, I see, <clears throat> mm, speak your truth. Okay, I feel like something is something that you're waiting for is coming to you. Okay, something that you have been waiting for, whether this is a date, a um, something that you were supposed to sign, some something dealing with either possibly like your finances or home related issues, or for some of you, again, this could be um, your health. Okay, for a lot of you, this is your health. Okay, and guys. I mean, I don't want you to feel like you have to pull all your business in the comments, but please help me out here. Please comment below and let me know what you are thinking and feeling about this video. Um, it always helps when um, I'm feeling all of these energies and you guys can confirm it. And I love what you guys think and I love your opinion. So please comment below or message me if you would like a personal reading. I will make sure that my website is posted, whether below or here in the video, okay? But some type of surprise or something that is shocking is going to pop up some type of good news of some sort for some of you it just might just be a bit of shocking news okay but it's definitely something that is going to be like aha surprise you know like that type of moment the moment you just was not expecting to actually happen is like hi i'm here okay <laughs> so i will talk to you aries later Okay, for the month of May, okay, that's also going to be a really interesting season for you, but I cannot talk too much about that as of right now. So I'll leave you all to it. Thank you for watching. Share this message around the world. I love you forever and a day. Bye.